probably helped him that he couldn't see the flag. What a hop. He's playing the break. Are you serious? What is up y'all? Hope y'all having a great day. Got my main man, Matt, back on the channel. And today we have something special. Our very first straight up match is gonna be played today out here at Indian Hills Golf Club, front nine. New facility, new spot. So I'm getting excited about teaching out here now and uh, figured might as well break it in and uh, see if I can not lose my first nine holes here. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. We're playing the tips out here, which is roughly the front nine, a little over 3,400. I think the total is 6,800 something for the full 18. Straight up match, nine holes. I just hope I do better than Tom Brady. <laughs> I'm hoping for at this point. Well, we're gonna have some fun either way. We'll take you to one tee. Par four, number one, 409 yards straight away. What driver are you going with, sir? Sim, baby. Sim. Tim A. Stafford. That is snazzy. Yeah, simulates my awesomeness. <laughs> I like it, dude, I let it fly. Hit well, heading a little right. It shouldn't hurt him too bad. Oh yeah, a little Favorable. kick left. Favorable bounce. You know what it is. <laughs> oh, I did pull that just a little bit. 141 yards left. I've got pitch and wedge. Decent shape right there. One for one fairways hit today, sir. That Thank was you. big. <laughs> the hillside was huge. Yes, it was. What's your number in here? 17 into the wind, back pin, try to punch a wedge under the wind, baby. I'm in good shape right here. Pin high, walking over here to Matt. Matt did trundle to the back edge. A little strong. A little strong, but not too bad. It was a good line. Yeah, yeah. Got a chance. Got a chance. He's hit it on a good line. Very nicely done, sir. All around good putt. Went from looking really good to a must make. Never All right, down. in with the par. Never a doubt. Second hole, Indian Hills. 380, par four. Kind of ducks down a little bit on your approach shot. So, gonna hit a uh, Matt Walter version of a two iron stinger. Match is all square. This course is fairly tight off the tee, which is very ideal for some stingers today. We're gonna to be hitting a lot of stingers. Matt's going with the stinger. I'm going with the stinger. It's stinger time. Ooh, that was hit really well down the right side. Buck 70, six iron, into the wind. Hung it out there a little bit. There's a lot of wind right here. I've got 169 yards left. I've got seven iron in hand.
That wasn't good. Well, that was not very good right there. We are in trouble. That was a borderline shank. Pin high. Needing to land something maybe right over in there. Let it trundle on down. What a putt. Wasn't the best iron shot there from the fairway. That was a lot right. Some might call it a shank. Hazel rocket. Yep, it, yeah, yep. Yeah, that wasn't good. <laughs> However, Matt made a great putt for par to go one up through two holes. We're on to number three, par five, 519 yards. T it high, let it fly. I feel like Jordan Spieth with the flat stick right now. Easy. Is that gonna be okay? No. No. Dead. There it is. That second guy is good. Better than the first. When was the last time you played, sir? So y'all remember that video where we played my grandfather's clubs with the hickory shafts? Yeah. Yeah, that mojo is not working with the driver, this driver, as much as I thought it would. Dude, you hit those hickory shaft woods so money, so pure. If they could just be a little stiffer, we'd be in business. Any chance that first one's in? I was looking for a ricochet off the brick. It's not like Mario. <laughs> Didn't happen? No, it doesn't grow a mushroom when you hit it. <laughs> one in, two out, three. Birdie? Find out. 195, five iron into the wind. Bend to win. I think that's going to work out pretty good. Oh, what a hop. And it's tracking. Oh, just a little long. I'm not out of it. I'm not out of it. Good shape right here. 185 yards left into the wind. I've got a six iron. Need to flight this down below these branches you see right there. Want to knock it up there close. Give us an eagle look. Ended up here in the bunker. Matt checking his phone. I guess he is feeling good about his par putt there on the back edge. If Tom Brady can come back, so can I. Well, you're winning right now. I'm in on this hole. Okay, gotcha. Took a lot of sand. Well judged in the distance. Apparently don't hit bunker shots into the wind. Put your sunglasses on if you're hitting a bunker shot into the wind. You get sand all in the eyeballs. That is not a bad putt. That is a huge pit slammer here on three. Some of you may have seen the match with Tom Brady. I now have that feeling after blowing one 100 yards to the right. I now know how he feels. Huge pin slammer right there. Evens the match all square through three holes. We're on to number four, par four, 361 yards. Probably going with a stinger. Matt, what are you going with? We're going to let the sim take over. Sim has taken over. You heard it from the man, the myth, the legend, Matthew Walter. Check him out on Instagram. Drop in the link down below. We got the honors for the first time today. I don't know 
exactly where that ended up, but that was the best swing of the day for me right there. I was hit well. Might need to settle. Saw it come down. Goes this way, I went that way. All righty, not in bad shape. Just off the fairway, 97 yards left. Pin looks to be relatively right in the middle of the green. but that ball flew a long ways. Let's go roll the rock. I uh, apparently underestimated the rightward amount of the hole. What club are you going with, sir? I'm gonna try and throw a little lob wedge up there with maybe some cleaner grooves. Okay. And uh, hope the wind helps me out a little bit. What a hop. He's playing the break. Are you serious? Dude, what a shot. Dude, what a shot. Well, you know, some people like to be better than they are lucky, and sometimes you just got to be luckier than you are better. So here <laughs> I am. Luckier than you are better. That's okay. Mississippi State coin phrase. Yeah. I've trademarked that. Mine, thank you. So, yes, this is where Matt ended up, just a few feet left for his tweeter. I'm right here on the back, roughly 25 feet left. And that's embarrassing. Well, I appreciate you leaving the door just a little open. That was a huge four footer right there. Let's go. Two eight, par three in the fifth hole here. I uh, got caught monologuing in my own head as I stood over that putt thinking about all the the faults I made up until that point, how lucky I was and how it was my moment to be Phil Mickelson and make the historic birdie. And uh, this is what happens when you monologue. You miss it. You leave it short on a four foot putt for birdie. And it's embarrassing. number a little right Ooh. follow the leader a got a got a lot of work ahead I was a little right both of us <laughs> yours was a little right mine was a lot of right <laughs> all right Matt you did find it however I was a little right maybe in the hazard it's all right Luckily, the bush hog came through and knocked it all down for me. So I got, I got a swing. We'll, we'll make something happen. This is moment. This is where you got to have your moment. Tom Brady knows all about it. He hold it out for birdie, whatever. This is my, this is my moment. Oh, this could be really good. From my angle, sir, that actually looked really good. Just a little short, not bad. Got it out. I'm, I'm not strong enough. Well, we got it through the fringe. That was hit a bit firm. Oh! Wow. That landed firm on you. Yeah. What a huge putt right there! Let's go! You're one down, sir. Hey, man, thanks for the update. Didn't know that. No worries. Number six here. These fairways are tight. I know this. If I'm going to be out here full time, I will be better at driving the golf ball. 
now it's time for the comeback. But first, this par four, 434. Not really sure what is up there. It looks very tight. We're going with Stinger. Double fairway. I was aiming for the right fairway. Yeah, yeah. That is the drive he was looking for. You're aiming for the right side of the fairway too, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought that was going to ride the wind and carry a few more yards. You knew exactly how much room you had to work with, didn't you? You know, sometimes playing the course once or twice gives you a little bit of confidence in what you can and can't do. I am curious about where out of bounds and the hazard line starts because apparently I thought that was hazard and it's out of bounds. Uh, but 99 left and uh, yeah, I mean, got a little backstop behind me too, so maybe I can do something here. Oh, this could be good. It went up the slope. Does it come back? Does it come back? Oh, I think it's still moving. I don't know. I think it stopped. So it's 100 degrees, humidity's high, tropical depression, tropical depression's coming in. And uh, Zach's like, oh man, ocean water's like this great drink because there's like a Sonic across the street. So I'm like, I didn't know what ocean water is. So I'm about to pull up Siri and be like, hey Siri, what's ocean water? You don't need Siri. Ocean water is the greatest drink on the planet. It's a little bit of Sprite mixed with a little bit of coconut flavoring, the blue coconut flavoring. It is deliciousness, sir. I'm like thirsty already. Here's where I ended up right here. Not too bad, not much green to work with right here. Here for the win on the hole. What a good putt. I'll give that to you, sir. Thank you. Oh, you hate to see it. Well, that was a clutch two putt from Matt right there. This is a pillow fight. Yo, pillow fights hit harder than this, man. <laughs> they probably do. Matches all square. We're on to number seven, 154 yards, par three. That looks to be all over it if it's a good number. Oh no. Was that a splash that I saw? I can't, I, I can't believe it. Looking good. We're dry. We are dry. <laughs> that is playing a long, long ways. <laughs> totally misjudged the wind right here, both of us. I didn't think it was playing that far. We walk 100 yards and it's dead in the fan. But on the tee box is going right to left. It's crazy. And Matt is dropping here at the drop zone. 65 yards. That is right on the money. That's good. Could have tied him by me. You hate to win a hole with a bogey, but I'll take it. 
I am one up. The pillow fight continues. We are on to number eight, par five. We're teeing it high and letting it fly. Got it's me. time for some birdies, sir. Gotta make something drop. It's yes. driving me crazy. I was a little left, but I think it's in play. Shouldn't be too bad. And Matt is coming to join me. Sorry for the angle right here. Can't see the green, but the pin location is pretty much straight ahead. I'll put a little pointer to let you know where it is. 170 yards left, eight iron. Couldn't see it down. Matt could. He said it was a dart. Let's go. I mean, it probably helped him that he couldn't see the flag. It probably did. It takes the pressure off the fact there's a river right next to him. But he did good. It's a good shot. It's a good shot. I'm going to zoom in here, see if y'all can see it from there. We've got a dart. Looks like five, six feet left for eagle. Heading a little right. Choked. That was not the shot we were looking for. Did the pressure get to you? I think it's just the fact that I can't feel my fingers anymore and I stopped sweating two holes ago. There's where Matt ended up. Well, it is pin high. Not bad for when you thin slice nine iron from your second shot on a par five. That doesn't help. <laughs> this is what Matt is faced with. A little uphill. I'm gonna go behind the green, see if he can't knock it close. Oh my goodness. It rolled out just a little bit to right there. But really a great shot from down there, sir. Oh, good roll. I'll give that to you. to see that. I didn't see the break there. Well, that is a pin slammer here on eight. Well, that did seal the match right there. The two putt for birdie, even though we we're only about four feet away, we got the two putt for birdie and that sealed the match. Two and one. Thanks so much for having me out. I mean, I'm, my pleasure. That was clutch. That was like super, I was so clutch. It made me nervous. I almost shanked a nine iron on a par five <laughs> going 42 and embarrassed myself. That was fun. We're still going to play number nine here, which is a par four. Little dog leg to the right. We're going to hit a stinger to end it. I'm not sure about Matt. Oh, yeah. 390 yards, par four. One hundred and fifteen yards left. I did play that a bit too far right. I'm gonna try to hit this little kind of through that gap right there. Let's knock it close. I think that could be pretty good. I wasn't able to capture Matt's shot. There's where his ball mark is. Good shot in there. Got roll for birdie. Mine ended up trundling just a little long. Right back there, see if we can't get it up and down. I want to see you roll the rock, get a pin slammer today, sir. Trundling was a big word by you. Yes, it was. <laughs> Would love to see Matt get a pin slammer here on the channel today. Let him in the door. Uh, it just wasn't meant to be. It just wasn't meant to be. And yes, not. Good par. Thanks, sir. 
Hope you all enjoyed coming along today. That was so much fun out here at Indian Hills. Drop a like down below if you enjoyed this video and enjoyed the journey of this. Not really a duel. This is more of a pillow fight today, but yeah. it was fun. Yeah, it was great. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for beating me again. Uh, but you know, though what? We'll uh, we'll go get some practice in, and now I got motivation to. Uh, now that I know these one on ones are going to start happening. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't let that. Keep it, I can't let that happen. No, no, you can't. The current standings, me one, Matt zero. We're gonna keep a tally, an ongoing tally of where like the match this. stands. Like That'll be kind of fun. Make sure to come check out Matt out here at Indian Hills, new location for teaching. Yeah, man, I'm excited. This is the new digs. We're gonna start rock and rolling out here. Lessons, club fittings, all the blessed, baby. We've got technology and all the toys. Let's do it. Check out Matt on YouTube and Instagram. All that's down below. And y'all, until next time, we'll see you when we see you. Peace.